Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Sasha Boran Cohen, Borat, has been whooping with joy on Twitter about Trump getting banned. He said, This is the most important moment in the history of social media. The world's largest platforms have banned the world's biggest purveyor of lies, conspiracies, and hate. To every Facebook and Twitter employee, user, and advocate who fought for this, the entire world thanks you. Now let's get this straight off the bat. I don't like Trump, and I don't like Biden. I don't trust any of these politicians. They all seem dodgy, plastic, and fake to me. I can't remember the last politician who came across to me as genuine. I don't know if such a politician exists anymore, so no, I don't like them. But I do like freedom of speech, and I don't agree with cancel culture and banning people and removing someone's ability to express an opinion or at least to defend themselves. So this well-paid Borat clown makes the grand claim that this is the most important moment in the history of social media. Well, he's right. It is important. It is very important, but it's not something to be cheering. He seems to think it's amazing that a collection of big tech companies now control and manipulate whatever they see fit to allow. These unelected big corporate companies have shown they can silence and digitally delete anyone, including the sitting president of the United States, the supposed leader of the free world. Get censored. So much for free speech in a free world. It doesn't matter if you hate Trump. It doesn't matter if you like Trump. That's not important. There's a much bigger, bigger picture here at play. You shouldn't be cheering, banning people. But what you should be is to be concerned at the way these companies have joined together to silence a leader of a country. I mean, what's stopping them doing it to other democratically elected leaders of other countries? It's sending you a message. It's sending you a message that they are in charge. These big tech companies who have joined together to ban Trump it's not just Twitter, it involves Google, Apple, Amazon, Facebook and Twitter all joining together and acting as one. It's a collective and orchestrated effort, a collective orchestrated deleting of a very public person. A person who was voted for by the public. These big tech companies are unelected self-serving entities who are answerable to no one and apparently believe themselves above the law. And remember, these unelected corporations are the same entities who harvest and sell your personal data. So if you believe in the notion of freedom of speech and democracy, something that is becoming extinct these days, then huge corporations cancelling prominent politicians without any kind of debate is not something to be cheering. Now, before big tech try and cancel this channel, Come and subscribe to my new website, hugotalks.com, and you will get daily notifications and updates on new posts. As always, thanks for listening, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.